Hi, welcome to Kitty Witty Paper Craft. Today I want to share three little golden book junk journals that will be going in my Etsy store tonight, Wednesday, January 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So for this collection, um, I use three classic little golden books, um, Toodle, Scuffy, and Tawny Scrawny Lion. And I just wanted to make some basic, uh, sorry about the glare <laughs> on the cover. I need to figure out how to work my lighting a little bit better. Um, but I wanted to use three classic little golden books uh, that don't really have a theme. Just I thought this would be a good start to the year. Just some unthemed journals and really the only thing that they have in common are that they're really colorful. They're bright, colorful. I thought with this being winter time, um, this would be a good time to start using some color. So um, all three journals are pretty much the same. Um, they each have five signatures and about 170 pages, give or take a few in each of them. Um, I don't plan out exactly how many pages I am going to do in a journal. I just kind of let it naturally unfold as I'm making it and some have a little bit more and some have a little bit less. They all have about the same amount of vintage and scrapbooking ephemera with them. Um, so what I did was I took all of the vintage ephemera and like the journaling pieces and the decorative pieces and I put them in the journals um, scattered all throughout some of the, some of it is paper clipped in some of the pieces are tucked in little bags um, or envelopes in pockets so you'll see everything is inside the journal and I didn't really attach anything to the pages that way whoever um, owns the journal can have total flexibility for how they decorate it for how they use it. Um, you'll see everything's just either paper clipped in, like I said, or in little packages. So you have the option to use these journals however you like. And, um, you know, they, they really suit because there's no theme to these. These are really suitable for really any kind of journaling or memory keeping. Um, I'm also going to mention that I have not figured out how to edit videos yet for YouTube. So this is just not edited at all. There's going to be probably mistakes and I'm going to stumble over my words and things. So um, please bear with me <laughs> on this. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... Um, like I said, they're pretty much the same. Um, all of them have the same fabric back. And I used um, a vintage sheet, actually, for the backs of these journals. And they all have um, wrapping paper on the spine and on the inside covers. And I used a different wrapping paper for each of these journals. So you'll see that. And all three of them have a tassel that's made with yarn and similar um, charms, and I'll, I'll share those with you too. So first I think I'll just share the Scrawny Tawny Lion. Let's start with that one. So I'll share with you the tassel first. Um, this one has vintage yarns and some ribbons um, and some of this fun confetti yarn and pom-pom trim. Those are new, but these are vintage yarns. I use a combination of vintage yarn and new yarn depending on what I can get in the colors that I want. Um, so I've been using some new yarns lately because that's the colors that I might need for a certain project. Um, also, the vintage yarn is getting harder and harder to find. So um, <clears throat> all of the journals have this charm dangle on them and I recently decided to kind of spruce them up a little bit and I wanted to add these gumball beads to all of my charm tassels so they will all now have not only charms but the gumball beads and there's there will be in all different kinds of combinations some acrylic charms um, so I just think it makes it more colorful and for me more color the better <laughs> um so yeah so these just have just some random kind of what i thought think of as cheerful charms um 
and some resin flowers also to finish that off. All right, let's go inside. <clears throat> so this one has this really cute gift wrap on the inside and backside covers, just a different um, part of the gift wrap. Really cute, um, colorful little girls. And each of the journals has a different paper collection used throughout. And this one, the Tawny Squawny Lion book, has the Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper Bloom Collection. So it's an oldie but a goodie. It's still one of my favorites. And here, like you, like I said, um, I paper clipped in some ephemera that you can um, take out, move around, attach if you want to. <clears throat> this is a pocket with some a vintage coaster and some ephemera you can use for journaling. And I want to show you all three, so I won't spend too much time talking through every single little piece. Um, I just want to kind of do a flip through. This is an example of, um, so I have some printed items that are, um, that you can use, excuse me, for um, journaling on. So some of it's vintage, some of it's new. Um, if it was colorful and cute and kind of went with the theme, um, I'm using it. The printed items that are in here um, are from a shop called KB and Friends, and I'll put the link below in the description box. And she has a lot of retro images um, that just go perfectly with my my style and the themes that I, I tend to do in my books. So um, I'll, I'll share some more of that as we go in, but um, there's a lot of that in this book. This is just a um, notebook paper. Excuse me, I have a cold. <laughs> um, this little glassing bag has lots of small vintage ephemera in it that you can use to decorate your pages. Lots of space to, to journal in, but also pages that um, you can um, add things on top. So you can layer your journaling parts or you can use them as backgrounds for papers, uh, excuse me, for photos. All the books have um, a few pieces of fabric trims on like tabs on the page edges and I used a combination of chenille scraps and some really cute um, fabric that I have that has tiny little animals on it. Um, I just love that fabric. I'll try to remember the name of the shop where, where I got those and put that in the comments or the description box below. There's a pocket with some vintage ephemera. This is another printable journaling card from KB and Friends. And then on the other side of the envelope, it's just a guest check. another image, a couple images from KB and Friends inside this library pocket. Um, I left the backing on the library pocket. It's actually um, got adhesive on the back. So if you wanted to stick this library card and pocket down to the front, inside front of your book, you could, um, but maybe you don't want to cover the paper up. So I'm leaving that completely up to the person that has the book. And then this card is just paper clipped on. And each book has a vintage card. Um, some of them are used cards, uh, some of them are not. Actually, I'm gonna put this to the side so we can go through quicker. Time record, ledger paper. There's a variety of um, ledger papers and grid paper. Um, all kinds of vintage notebook paper throughout the book in addition to the scrapbook papers. Um, this is a printed doily from Little Bindi, which is a shop on Etsy run by uh, Johanna Clough. And she has really beautiful printable doilies. And I made um, this one into a pocket. So there's a pocket on this side and a pocket on the other side that I made out of the same doily and I just uh, stuck some vintage ephemera in those and this is an envelope with every like envelope and little bag has ephemera or little journaling cards 
in them for you with more space to add to. <clears throat> Um, a vintage index card and some scrapbooking embellishments. Some nice journaling paper. This is nice heavy paper. Um, I use vintage children's books uh, pages just because I love the illustrations and the colors um, throughout all of the books. And there will always be a couple pages from the book cover that I'm using. So I already passed um, the Tawny Scrawny Lion. Got a couple pages from his book in here. Um, it's a flash card that flips up. You can journal behind it, on it. You can put photos underneath. You can decorate the flash card. There's another page from this book. I love this paper. This whole collection. Well, all of the crepe paper collections really are my favorite. <laughs> Um, recipe card. I like using these as tuck spots, but again, you can use it however you would like. One of my favorite French dictionary pages. Um, each of the books has um, an ice cream ad. I think they have really great colors and graphics on them. Um, vintage Rolodex card. This is a um, fabric band with a die cut on top and a journaling card underneath. There's room to add a few more things under that band. Cookbook page. Um, here's another um, die cut I fussy cut out of um, one of the printable pages I got from KB and Friends. Here's a vellum page with velvet flocked bows on it. All the books have a seed packet. Um, this one just has a little journaling card inside of it, but each packet has some things inside of it. Be sure to check out. Um, I think each book has a catalog page in it. A journaling area. more ephemera from that printable KB and Friends collection. I think you'll agree her stuff matches my style perfectly. <laughs> I can't get enough of vintage children and animals. I just think from the 50s and 60s, they're just the cutest um, things in the world. Um, this is a vintage trim that I love and I, I'm almost at the end of, um, but this is just a little band with some journaling cards, a slide under there, a little ruler. Again, everything is just paper clipped in, so you're going to have a ton of like little mini paper clips uh, from Tim Holtz <laughs> when you're finished with this, How, if you decide to take things out and, and glue things down. Um, every book also has a sewing pattern envelope, and inside is all kinds of little journaling cards and ephemera. This has a bunch of little labels and word labels that you can use to add to your pages, your photos, or your journaling spots. There's another doily from Little Bindi, chenille scrap. This adds a lot of nice texture. Every book has a little coloring book page. Um, I originally added this as one of the pages in the book, and it's so brittle that it was tearing at the fold, so I just took them out and um, have added it back in just as a little, kind of a fun thing. Um, it's a little nod to childhood, but um, you could also color it in yourself or journal on it. Here's a little tag set from Crate Paper. Other side of the doily and sewing pattern envelope. Here's some more scrapbooking embellishments to add some fun to your pages. It's another little girl from KB and Friends. And this envelope has something in it. Oh yeah, lots of flowers and butterflies, um, birds. So all can be used to decorate your pages. I tried to add a whole bunch of things to each book that can be used to 
really get you started on decorating your pages um, so you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of extra things to be able to get started on journaling and memory keeping right here in your book and it you know, kind of all goes together. And this is the end of Tawny Scrawny Lion. Okay, and next let's do Scuffy the Tugboat. So this one, um, again, has a very similar um, bead dangle. It's a mix of vintage yarns and new yarns. I really love this teal color that's new. And I just thought it went really well with this book. So I went ahead and I'm using that. And here's some of those gumball beads. And uh, all the books have very similar charms with them. And here's some of the... The gift wrap used in this book is this cute little nursery rhyme paper. All of the gift wrap um, kind of looks like um, a fairy tale or nursery rhyme um, characters. And this one also has the um, floral sheet on the back. And this is the inside um, of the gift wrap. So you can see some of the nursery rhyme motifs there. Um, and this book has the Maggie Holmes Crate Paper Flourish collection in it for the patterned papers. So here's one of the glassine bag um, that's just full of different small pieces of vintage ephemera and a journaling card. I'm trying to make these videos not too, too long. Um, so I want to go through it kind of quickly. Um, if you have any questions about anything that you see, um, please ask me in the comments below. I'm really good at checking my comments and replying to all of them. So um, I'm happy to answer any questions or if you have any comments or feedback, I am open to all of it. So just let me know. Um, this one, same as the other, it has chenille scraps and just some cute printed um, fabric scraps on the edges of the pages. So let's see here. And they all have a doily pocket with some journaling pieces in it. Some handwriting paper. Um, I use a mix of vintage pages. Um, so you'll see ledger paper, handwriting paper, typewriter paper, um, graph paper, all, all different types um, of vintage paper. I try to do a variety. These little vintage um, date book calendars. I love them. And this one's got lines on the back too, which is nice for journaling. I love that peach color in this book. Love it. This is a little fold out page. Um, this is from a Tupperware catalog. <laughs> Again, here's a playing card that you can decide to make a tuck spot if you would like. And pattern envelope. Got some goodies in it um, for journaling. And there's plenty of space in all the envelopes to add to them. You can add photos that maybe you want to journal later. You can store them in the envelope. Um, this is from the Flourish collection, just some little journaling pieces. Oh, I'm going to add a piece of trim right here. I forgot to do that. I just finished these last night, <laughs> but I'm going to add some pom-pom trim to the edge of that pocket there. I always like to do that. This one, each of the books has a flash card that flips up that you can, like I said, decorate the card. You can journal on it. You can journal underneath, put a photo underneath. It's such a fun catalog. Um, this is a nice little time record. You could crease this and, and fold it and kind of change the way you use that. A lot of flexibility on how you use these journals. Just some more vintage ephemera. 
I love the Flourish collection too. Every time a collection comes out, I say, oh, that's my new favorite. I think my all-time favorite is Willow Lane, which you're going to see in the last journal. Um, that's That was her latest collection before, I think her new one's coming out like in the next week or so. Um, but I think Willow Lane is still my favorite. <laughs> I love the colors and all the, the motifs. Um, this is just a little... Um, journaling card flip tag flip <laughs> and again I put a library card pocket and library card in every journal and I left the adhesive on the back so you can decide if you want to stick that down or not cute little ruler um, you can attach that to your page or not every book has one of those also this is a doily from um, Little Bindi Here's some ephemera and a coaster that's vintage. And this is just the edge of this little stationary. Oops, that's popping out. Flip out. I love to add these to my books. This is from a children's um, music book. I really love the graphics and the colors. In those, I just showed you that. <laughs> um, here is the seed packet for this book. And I forget what I put in each of the, the envelopes. This one has a lot of the little um, die cuts in it. I just think they are so sweet. And the cute little f phone image. And there's more of the um, little vintage animal fabric I love. See, um, label. Those make good tuck spots. They also make good pockets. If you want to seal the edges in the bottom and put that on your page, that makes a nice pocket. Heidi, love Heidi. I think this book um, goes really well with the Flourish collection. Some more ephemera, paper clipped in, and this is a band. Um, that I made with a burlap fabric back and just a strip of the flourish paper and a couple journaling spots and you could fit some photos under here also. Um, there's plenty of space there. One of the catalog pages. Um, this is a printable from KB and Friends as part of the, one of their collections. I bought a couple of the different collections. I love this little birthday card. This is a vintage card. This one is a used card, but I always think it's so neat to read the kinds of things people wrote. This was 1968. But the cool thing with this card is it flips open, and then you have all this space to journal, add photos, um, a lot of flexibility with that there. Here's the ice cream ad for this book, and a journaling card. Um, there's the coloring book page for this book some more cute die cuts. I've been trying to get um, some Viewmaster, actual vintage Viewmaster reels, and they're really expensive, so I'm still on the lookout for that, but this is just a um, printed one from KB and Friends. And then this is also from KB and Friends, and I thought it made a really cute pocket because it was just the right size, and those kids are so sweet. And there's a journaling card, and then this envelope is full of, um, I should have showed all the ephemera that I'm putting in these books, but um, there's always a variety of flowers and labels, and let's see, there are just little like decorative pieces, there are words that you can add to um, your pages or your photographs, so every book has a variety of these items. So you really can just get started right away. Okay, you don't want to watch me put all this stuff away. <laughs> okay, it's all in there. No, we're going to put that to the side. I'm kind of fumbly with my hands. <sighs> and another journaling card. And there's the rest of that gift wrap. And that is Scuffy. So we'll pop him to the side. 
And last but not least is Toodle. And he has some colorful yarns too. This is a mix of new and vintage and um, some of those fun little beads and charms. And Toodle, I love the gift wrap on his book. This is, um, I'll show you the insides, you can see it even better. He's got the pink floor, uh, rose sheet on the back. And this is their gift wrap. You might have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, the um, this gift wrap that I already shared. But it is the sweetest. The colors are beautiful. Um, it's just really good quality paper and... This one has all these cute little um, fairy tale images. There's Red Riding Hood and the Three Bears. Um, there's Goldilocks and Cinderella. And it's just so sweet. And I tried to use a different piece of the gift wrap on the front and the back so you get as many of the images as possible from that wrap. Um, this is Cinderella and Hansel and Gretel. Look at that cottage. Isn't that adorable? I love this paper. I will be hoarding at least a square of it. <laughs> it's hard to sometimes let these cute vintage things go and you know they're like one of a kind. Um, but I love sharing them in my books. So um, this book has the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection um, that I already shared. So um yeah, so that's what this book has in it, and um, again, it's got the little animal fabric tabs and vintage chenille scrap tabs on it, in it. <laughs> um, this pocket just has some fun elements and some journaling pieces. I love this paper. I'm going to say that about every page we get to. Oops, this is a little pocket here with some tags, and you can write on the back of the tags. Dictionary page. Every book has this whole collection of the KB and Friends die cuts and little journaling cards. Here's the flashcard for this book. Again, it flips up. Could have some fun with that. This is um, a couple more pieces from KB and Friends, and this is a Maggie Holmes embellishment. Um, this is a birthday card that's so beautiful. It's that really thick, kind of like parchment paper feeling card. I'm sure if you've seen vintage cards or you're familiar with them, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's got this beautiful image and a psalm verse inside. Love that card. And here's the doily pocket. Every book has one of those. There's a journaling card. And this is the inside of that card. This is all embossed and the edge is deckled. Really, really pretty. Um, playing card and your library card and pocket. I love those cards. I think they're so cute. I'm all about cute. I'm sure you already figured that out. <laughs> Um, journaling card, just a decorative piece. Like I said, everything can be moved around. I don't think I put anything in this pocket, but that's a little pocket for you. Journaling space. I didn't say it. That was one of my favorite papers. <laughs> um, here's one of the vintage coasters and some more embellishments. ice cream ed. Oh, I'm kind of sliding all over the place here. Just one of the toodle pages. Funny little story. Um, here's some vintage journaling pieces and this is the little bag of small vintage ephemera scraps for you. 
and the doily from Little Bindi, and a coloring book page. And let's see. Oh yeah, this has a journaling card in it. I don't put too, too much in the seed packets unless it's like big like this because it's kind of hard to get down inside of there, but it is a nice little um, envelope tuck spot. And this pocket has a bunch of ephemera in it and then the envelope filled with all of the flowers and each book has a different collection of flowers in it. Um, but they all go with the color scheme of the book. And then there's labels and word phrases and things for you to decorate your pages. There's a little flip open spot. I thought the back of this paper was, was nice because um, it kind of, the design creates lines so you can journal on it easily. And then here is your sewing pattern envelope catalog page. These old catalogs are so much fun. I love looking at the prices on things. <laughs> Oops, missed that. Yeah, that's just a little vintage tag there. And that is the end of Toodle. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out these videos. Um, or this video. Sorry, it was kind of long, um, but I thought I would put all three books in the same video. And these will be in my shop, like I mentioned, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. And again, if you have any questions, um, please let me know down in the comments below. If you don't have, an don't have any questions, um, maybe just leave me a comment and tell me which book you liked the best, or maybe you didn't like them. Just, you know, <laughs> I'm open to it all. So, um, Please be feel, uh, feel free to share, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.